celebrate God wherever you are. Father, we are grateful. Give him praise for the blessedness of another day. You are welcome to come in the day midnight prayer. Please be seated wherever you are. You are encouraged to pick up your phones, your devices, put a call across to loved ones, and ensure that by all means they are connected to the broadcast. This evening, details are on the screen, links for you to do that. We will make progress this um, evening as we take a couple of testimonies. Our first testimony is um, from Sister S from Abuja. And she said, above only, that is my place. Good morning, my command day midnight prayer family. Indeed, God is good. Six years ago, my husband left me and my children to an unknown place, leaving a lot of responsibilities for me. He comes by once in a while and sees them. But to cut a long story short, we, we were thrown out of our house about after four years because he refused to pay the rent. I then moved into a one-room apartment with the children. Fast forward to April last year, he came and took all the children to boarding school and left them there, and even told the school not to grant me access to them. Whether there is a midterm mid break, long, vac long vacation, Christmas break, they were always in school. They will call and cry for their freedom, and at times I will end up crying with them. I tried all I could to bring them out, all to no avail. This year, after I was introduced to the Command the Day Midnight Prayer, I decided to hand over the issue to God. I kept mentioning their names during personal supplication that God should intervene in this case and cause their father not to have peace until he remembers his children that he abandoned. Behold, on the 23rd of March, during the midnight prayer, my phone rang, and it was my children calling via the, their dad's number. I jumped up and started dancing like David danced. For a whole year, these children have been locked up in school. I did all my gra, gra but nothing happened until I handed it over to God. And it came through for me. I want to thank God for he only, I want to thank God for only he could have done this. And I know he will still grant me uh, all my heart desires. God bless you for creating this wonderful platform of prayer. Amen. The second testimony is from Oyeye C from Eboin State. He said, greetings, my commanding the day midnight prayer. Family, I guess. I've come to appreciate God for speed. I've experienced academic stag stagnation in my master's program in Nigeria. It should ordinarily end in two years, but in my case, it has taken three years as at February. 
I told God that I want speed and that I want to do my external defense on or before the end of February. As soon as, sub as I submitted my work, um, that very week, the dean of postgraduate school insisted that our defense must not cross over to March as um, we will be required to pay a new school fees since a new academic year will commence from 1st of March. Right before my eyes, my work together with that of my colleagues were sent to an external supervisor with strict instructions to pick a date and report for our assessment before the end of February. Brethren, my external defense was held on exactly 29th of February, 2024 to the glory of God. Secondly, in February, my son um, was just four months old when he was diagnosed of umbilical hernia, and the doctor said it will be corrected by surgery. He cried all the time as his navel would swell up so much and he wouldn't sleep. It was a huge concern, and I brought it before God on this prayer altar. Suddenly, like a dream, all the pains vanished back to hell. The navel shrank. Uh, to a very little size, surgery cancelled. Now he sleeps peacefully without pains. May God bless you all, working to make the command of the minor prayer reality. Hallelujah. God, give, God be praised. Somebody will experience a similar testimony of intervention for your child in Jesus' name. Amen. Sister Chigozie from Abuja, she said, Above only, that is my place. Calvary greetings to this great family. I joined commanding the day midnight prayer at its inception. I want to thank this great God for healing me from a chronic food allergy. Through his servant, Dr. Paul Enenche, this chronic food allergy, food allergy started sometime last year, 2023. It comes with severe body itching and swollen eyes, mouth, and fingers. It got to the point that I had to go to the hospital, after which antibiotics were prescribed it stopped for a while and began again this year in February 2024. My deliverance word came on the 21st through 22nd of March 2024, commanded the day midnight prayer through God's servant. He said, and I quote, there is, some, there is a food allergy that God is dealing with in your body right now. Food is to give life and not to kill. That's right. I declare today your visitation. God delivers you from that condition, and I speak to someone here, a particular food, a particular drink, a particular whatever it is, that every time you take, it reacts in your life as if it's going to kill you. I declare that satanic agenda arrested forever in the name of Jesus. Hey, brethren, that has been my case. But after this declaration, the food allergy disappeared like it never existed. I am strongly believing that it has been checked back to hell forever. Thank you, Jesus, and God bless the entire team of Command the Day Midnight Prayer. This great movement is simply starting. Okay. Declaration Just attached. That there is a food allergy that God is dealing with in your body right now. Food is to give life, not to kill. I declare today your visitation delivers you from that condition and i speak to someone here a particular food a particular drink a particular whatever it is that every time you take it reacts in your life as if it's going to kill you i declare that satanic agenda arrested forever hallelujah amen, amen. finally in this segment sister promise from bielsa state she said calvary greetings to all dunamis family Above only, that's my place. I have come to return all glory to God Almighty. I was introduced to the Command the Day Midnight Prayer Altar by a friend on the 16th of February 2024. The senior pastor mentioned my case. In my family, no marriages, especially the grandchildren. The only grandchild that got married was my senior cousin, and it was long ago. Ever since then, no one else has been able to. Others give birth out of wedlock. The only thing that happened consistently in my family uh, was death almost every year. In my own case, a man came to ask for my hand in marriage in December 2022. After the introduction, his father died that same December, and he, he then lost his job and lost a contract that he was doing with um, his boss. And since then, nothing had been working for him, but it was only God that kept us. But on that day, 16th of February 2024, the senior pastor made a declaration and mentioned my case and said, that stubborn, rebellious altar from your father's house that will not let you people rest, 
that will not let people to marry and to stay in marriage. That stubborn altar of your father's house that is attacking lives, marriages, and attacking relationships. I declare that yoke is broken. I said amen with tears running down my face. And he went further to say, that evil doesn't care whether you, you have relationships or whether you have children out of wedlock. As long as you are not um, connected in marital covenant, a real marriage, a real marriage, I declare that a yoke is broken. And, 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 and said, he said, first name or last name, Azikoro. Hey, this is me, oh, Jesus. Truly, I am living in Azikoro town in Yenegua, Bayelsa State. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. So precise wow. and sure as that described declaration attached. Wow. From getting married, I don't know who this one belongs to, but no devil will tie you down from getting married. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the devil does not care whether you have relationships, whether you have children out of wedlock, as long as you are not connected to a marital, a marital, a marital covenant, a real marriage. I declare that yoke is broken. Everybody in that category, this yoke is broken. First name or last name, Az Azikoro. I declare that, that that yoke is broken. That chain is broken. You will, you will, be, you will be maritally settled. And if it is a whole family, I declare the spell is broken. Hey! Stand on your feet and let's celebrate the King of Kings. Hallelujah. comfortably seated anywhere you're watching this evening praise the lord wake up your friends your neighbors your loved ones tell somebody that something great is happening in this place look at the testimonies we've heard tonight that lady delivered her children delivered from imprisonment in a school set up for a whole year what a mighty god we serve look at the testimony of this lady no marriages only deaths recurrently, and God has set them free. Praise the Lord. Wake somebody up, their testimony might be the next. Let's take a look at a few more testimonies, and then we proceed to pray. Comfort, comfort from Benway says, above greetings in Jesus' name. Well, let me say, above only greetings in Jesus' name. She wants to thank God Almighty for the wonderful things that he has been doing in her life and family since she joined the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer in February 2024. Her life has never remained the same. She had a dream last month in February 29th after watching the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer and she saw Dr. Mrs. Becky Paul Enenche show her some local leaf and instructed her to boil it and drink which she did as she woke up 
Again yesterday, she saw her again in her dream, and she told her not to worry that God has answered her prayers already. After suffering from infection, Ola, 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 Ola. As she woke up, she went straight to the hospital and she was confirmed pregnant, positive for the first time in her marriage after waiting for almost a year. To God alone be all the glory and may God continue to bless his servant and his <laughs> beautiful wife and Dunamis International Gospel Center. Picture attached. That's the test strip, uh, the test kit with two lines there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Everyone trusting God for a while, your testimony is released in Jesus' name. Amen. Sister C.F. from Cameroon says, above only, that is my place. She was introduced to this prayer altar by her brother's wife early February this year, 2024. Since then, by the grace of God, she has been following the prayers and trusting God that one day she will be here to testify to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil. On the 11th of March, the servant of God, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche, mentioned her case. Hey! On that fateful day, Pastor said, there are some people who always see snails in their dreams, and even physically, and this spirit has caused them lots of delays. She was so connected to the declaration because that was what she had been going through. Just four days before the declaration, she saw a live snail on her carpet and she took it and roasted it by fire. Hey! Just a few minutes after the prayer ended, she was still seated on the carpet when she felt something cold on her right leg. She merely turned on the light of her phone and lo and behold, it was a live snail moving uh, on her leg. I... She screamed, the blood of Jesus! Then used a spoon, picked it up, and set it on fire. She has come to say thank you, Lord, and she knows that her life will never be the same. The spirit of delay, disappointment, shame, and reproach are things of the past, and she's stepping into her newness of life in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Here's the declaration. Let's watch it. The Lord is showing me again. We saw this some time ago, but snail spirit, snail, where you are, just snails in your dreams and snails, even in your physical, where you are not meant to see them, and your life is slowed down. Today, I set those snails on fire in the name of Jesus. Wow. Praise Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, let's take a look at another one. Emmanuel Tony says, Good evening, Commanding the Day family. Above only, that is my place. He has come to testify of God's goodness upon his life. Great family. He was advised to go into transportation business, which he saw was not a bad idea because by his calculations, at least it would generate six zeros every week. So, he confidently put everything into it. He even had to collect a loan to assist it. He got the truck as direct, first grade, fairly used, and started the business quite smoothly, paying back debts gradually. Not too long after, due to bad wishes from some people around him and the people in charge of maintaining the vehicles, who wanted to take advantage of the business to enrich themselves, he started facing problems with bus tires, gear problems, and so on and so forth. Until the, this very day, sir, as he's speaking, he is heavily indebted to people in millions because of this truck right now. Everything about the truck is grounded, but his joy is that his word came on the 22nd of March. Something wake, woke him up, so immediately he joined the commanding the day midnight prayer. He dozed up, but what shocked him was when it was about time for senior pastor to make declarations, brethren, while sleeping, he heard his name, Tony! He got up immediately to hear the declarations. The senior pastor said, the Lord is speaking to someone here by name Tony. He sees a trailer grounded. My goodness. <laughs> he sees a vehicle and there is a bigger truck pushing it from the back. That's what he saw with Tony. In the name of Jesus, everything that has made your life grounded 
that is required, is requiring friends to help you here and there, he says, I declare such agenda is broken in Jesus' name. And he screamed, Amen. Brethren, this was his word. And honestly, what he heard during the declaration was Tony. So he claimed it immediately. That's He's right. not taking it for granted. By faith, he will be coming back shortly to testify of how God has turned around everything for his good. God bless you all. Declaration attached. Say the Lord is speaking to somebody by name Doni. Le coste ferina kada yotamo asofala na naste. Le coste rotana kala yatena kako shotora tala kadista. Le coste fetana kaka la yado sarona na kaka salatashi. Jarota sakataka. I see the way a trailer, a, 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 a vehicle is grounded, and there is a bigger truck pushing from the back. That is what I saw with Donny in the name of Jesus. Everything that has made your life grounded, that is requiring a push, friends and people have to help you here and there. I declare that agenda is over forever. Amen. And I speak to everyone here today. Maybe you are living at the mercy of friends and as a liability on people. I declare today that tenure is expired. Receive the grace to move to the next level. Wow, this is amazing. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. It's very, very amazing because I'm actually wondering when all of this was said. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Let's go on. Uh, Brother E.O. from Uyo says, Calvary greetings to all the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer family. He received a shocking news on the 15th of March, 2024, at about 5.15 p.m. that his contract had been terminated at his place of work. He was confused and devastated, trying to figure out the justification for the decision taken by his superior. Though he had an issue and was expecting a light punishment, but the thought of termination never crossed his mind. All his love, efforts, and time invested was just going to be wasted because some person he helped decided that they wanted him out of the system, thereby saying false things, false things to his superior so that they can sack him. Hey! God used his line supervisor to introduce him to the commanding the day midnight prayer. And he's glad he's joined. On the 18th of March, his word came. Dr. Pastor Paul Enche declared that you, in your place of work, what is considered impossible is being made possible. Hey! In the sad mood that he was, he screamed, Amen. And on the 20th, his colleagues called him with so much excitement that God indeed, that, that God has indeed done what no man can do. Once sacked, you cannot be reinstated again in his place of work. But God Almighty did it for him. Oh, God Almighty did not allow the enemy to have the last laugh. He was reinstated and he has resumed his work. God is now opening doors of opportunities for him to meet his set for, for him to set objectives for his for me for his set of for his set objectives. Okay, thank you, Jesus, his savior, for divine help, mercy, compassion towards him and his family. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Pictures and declarations attached. Somebody is about to receive a divine turn around in the name of Jesus Christ. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. What an incredible God. Hmm. I declare the release of multifaceted possibilities. Everything that has been considered impossible by the release of this oil, I declare possibility. In your place of work, what is poss impossible there is now possible. Anywhere this oil is released, possibility is released in that place. In your office, in your workplace, in your organization. Would you lift up your hands and just begin to tell the Lord, anything you are trusting God to be made possible, begin to speak to him right now.
Go ahead and let's celebrate the King of Kings. Celebrate the King of Kings. And the Lord of Lords say, Be clap and a lash out of praise. You did your fasting for seven hours. Get ready, something shall be released today like never before. Amen. Wake up your friends, wake up your loved ones, and wake someone and let them know that commanding the day midnight prayer is on. In Acts of the Apostles, chapter 26 and verse 22, Paul the Apostle said, Having therefore obtained help of God, I continue unto this day. How many of us know that if, if not for the help of God, you would have expired sins? If not for the help of God, you would have crashed sins. There are people who wish you to crash every day. But they will wish until they die. Because until the help of God expires, your destiny cannot expire. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, thank you, thank you. for your goodness, for your goodness. And, your and your mercies. Thank you, thank you. for your help, for your help that has made me to continue to prevail in spite of and despite the devil. Be glorified, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Loud as say, Father, thank you for your goodness and mercies. Thank you for your help that has made me, made us to continue to prevail in spite of and despite the devil. Be glorified, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. In Jesus' precious name, Amen. the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and in verse 21, the Bible said, He is thy praise and he is thy God that has done for thee these great and terrible things which thine eyes have seen. We saw very, very great and unusual miracles today as a healing and deliverance service. Young lady that was carried by, uh, on, on the back, she had not walked or stood for one year. Today, she walked, she, she, she moved, almost ran. Then was it, was her name praised? Lady that became mute, completely mute, since last year, final year student of her Modubello University area. She's mute, she's not eating, and she's not talking, and she's doing nothing. Today, the yoke was broken, 
and she spoke and cried and danced on this altar. What a miracle working God. There's something right here. Bunky calls star miracles. He said there will be many, many miracles, but this, is, this was a star miracle. We had at least two star miracles in one service today. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for your incredible, incredible acts at the healing the and healing. deliverance and service. service. Thank, you thank you for undeniable, undeniable testimonies, testimonies of your mind and mercy. And, mercy. and the command of the midnight prayer altar. Be glorified, Lord, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father thank, you thank you for your incredible, for your incredible acts at the healing and deliverance service. Thank you, thank you for undeniable, for undeniable testimonies, testimonies of your mind and mercy. And, mercy. and the command of the midnight prayer. Out. We glorify, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. In John chapter 14 and in verse 30, he said, Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh and has nothing in me. He could find nothing in me. The wicked devices of the enemy coming against you will find nothing. Amen. They will prevail for nothing. Amen. And in Luke 10, 18, he said, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. If this word is for you, your amen will be the loudest. Amen. Every devil looking for you will crash today. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, take we take authority over every wicked every device every of the enemy. Of the enemy. Position, position to confront, to confront antagonize, antagonize and undermine, undermine your acts in our midst and in my life. In my life. I bring them, I bring we bring them, bring them into, defeat. into defeat. Now, Lord, now, Lord. in the name of in Jesus, name of go Jesus. ahead and pray. <laughs> Jesus precious name. The Lord had an answer us in Jesus' name. Amen. Romans chapter 8 and in verse 37. He said, Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. I prophesy upon somebody here today. The mantle of the conqueror is on your life. Amen. The mantle of the victor is on your life. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father. Father. I step in I step to this new day, this new day with, with the mantle, the mantle of, conquest, of conquest, the mantle, the mantle of, the of the conqueror, and the mantle, and the mantle of, victory. of victory over all, all the, forces the forces of the enemy. Of the enemy. Today, Lord, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. go ahead and pray. I step into this new day with the mantle of the, of the conqueror, the mantle of conquest, the mantle of victory over all the forces of the enemy, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank <laughs> you. 
In the name of Jesus, the Lord heard and answered us. You believe that shall the Lord say, Amen. In Deuteronomy chapter 28 and in verse 13, I would like you to read it with me. Everybody want to go. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only. And thou shalt not be beneath. If that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe and to do them. I announce to you today, tonight by this prayer, you are going above the bitterness of your neighbors. The bitterness of the witches and the wizards. The witchcraft of the adversaries. You are going above hatred and envy and jealousy. Lift your voice and say, Father, I declare this new day as my day of above only existence. I refuse to be pulled down by any enemy force of wickedness bitterness, envy, or jealousy. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Can I ask you a question? When was the last time you heard this kind of prayer point on this altar? I'd like you to pray this with fire. That is saying that there is a bitter devil wants to pull you down. An envy, envious devil, a, a, a devil of jealousy wants you to crash. He wants is he, he, he is angry at where you are, at what you do. So I like you to pray it with fire. Say after me, say, Father, Father I, declare I declare this new day this new as my day, as my day of, above of above only existence. existence. I, refuse I refuse to be pulled down by, by any enemy force of wickedness, of wickedness bitterness, bitterness, envy, envy or, jealousy. or jealousy. Oh Lord, oh Lord. in the name of Jesus. Oh, go, go ahead, open up your mind up here. Jesus precious name Amen. so shall it be Amen. so shall it be Amen. don't forget to review this prayer point throughout the day in the daytime don't forget to rewatch this broadcast this particular one and now the Bible said in Psalm 37 and in verse 23 it said the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delighted in his way somebody Amen. receive this prophetic word today Amen. wherever you are needed your leg will take you there Amen. Where you are needed, your feet will take you there. Where you are not needed, where there is a trap set for you, your feet will take you away from there. Say after me, say, Father, I take full delivery of all the good things you have in store for me today. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, I receive the mystery of divine on that step to be at the right place at the right time today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, say, Father, I take full delivery of all the good things you have in store for me today. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I receive the mystery of divinely understood to be at the right place at the right time today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and put your mouth up. Shut the fuck up. 
In the name of Jesus, somebody will testify today that God supernaturally orchestrated your steps Amen. to where you are needed. Amen. Psalm 65 and in verse 2, the Bible said, Oh, now that here is prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. Someone today, the prayers we are praying now, the answers shall hit you before the sun sets. The answers will hit you before the sun sets. Say after me, say, Father, Father we, have come we have come to you, to you who both hear, here and answer, and answer prayers, prayers and we receive, and receive the, answer the answer to our prayers, to our prayers today, Lord, today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Say, Father, Father, we have come, we have come to, you, to you who both hear, who both hear and answer prayers, answer prayers and we receive, and receive the, answer the answer to our prayers, our prayers today, Lord, today, Lord, in the name of in Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Jesus, precious name. Amen. God has said and answered us. Shout the Lord, say, Amen. Psalm 94, verse 1 and 2. I want you to read it as a prayer. Want to go, O oh Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth. O oh God, to whom vengeance belongeth. Show thyself. Lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth. Render a reward to the power. Hey! Every proud, wicked agent of the devil positioned around your life today, they shall receive their reward. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Oh God, oh, God. oh Lord God, oh, Lord. to whom vengeance belongeth, oh God, oh, God. to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself, show thyself. Lift, up lift up thyself, thyself. thou judge of the earth, render a reward to the proud and the wicked today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth up. In the name of Jesus. Listen. Every altar or agent of bad will, wickedness, bitterness, witchcraft, occultism, altars of the Antichrist, altars of misrepresentation, slander, disease, destruction, death, today they shall catch fire. Amen. Psalm 11 verse 6. Look, I like you to when we start prayer, I like you to watch the words that were picked. Now, read it together. Everybody want to go. Upon, Upon the, the wicked, wicked he, he shall rain snares, fire, and brimstone, and a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of the account. Now, look at Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 23 to 24. Look at the wild wind that is going and what it will do to the wicked. Want to go? Behold, the wild wind of the Lord. Goeth forth with fury, a continuing wild wind, it shall fall with pain upon the head of the wicked. 
The fierce anger of the Lord shall not return until he has done it, until he has performed the intents of his heart. In the later days, he shall consider it. Wind is going with fire and it will hit the, hit the head of the wicked with pain. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we release, release the, fire the fire of your judgment, of your judgment on every altar. Every altar. Or, agent or agent of bad will, of bad will. Bitterness, 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 wickedness, wickedness witchcraft, 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 occultism, occultism the, antichrist, the antichrist, misrepresentation, misrepresentation slander, slander, disease, disease destruction, destruction, or death. Or death. We, declare them, we declare them roasted, roasted by fire. By fire. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Jesus, precious name. Amen. The Lord has answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Are you ready for this? Anywhere they caged your glory, your favor, your resources, your destiny as a whole, today it shall be vomited. Amen. It shall be released. Amen. It's our day of rest, of release, of restoration. Amen. Whatever the devil took from you. He said in the book of Job chapter 20 verse 15. He has swallowed down riches. He has swallowed down your favor. Amen. Swallowed down your glory. Swallowed down your destiny. He shall vomit them up again. Amen. And God shall cast them out of his belly. Amen. Will you lift your voice and say father. father I, ask I ask that every system. Every, system, every, institution, every institution. Every individual. Every individual hold it. Hold my resources. My, resources, my, destiny, my destiny. My favor. My Oh my, oh my glory, who release them by the force, by the force of, the of the spirit now in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, I demand that every system or individual holding my resources, destiny, favor, or glory, release them by the force of the spirit now in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. In Jesus precious name Psalm 2 and in verse 8 he said ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, receive we receive the nations, the nations as our inheritance on this altar and the uttermost part of the earth as our possession. Oh Lord, oh, Lord in the name of Jesus, Jesus, say, Father, Father we, receive we receive the nations the nation as our inheritance on this altar and the uttermost part of the earth as our possession. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray.
In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout the Lord and say amen. Somebody shout the Lord and say amen. Are you excited in what God did today? Let's celebrate the King of Kings for one minute. Hallelujah. Go. God, you are worthy of praise. You deserve our praise. Pray us, with God. Pray us, with God. Pray us, with God. You are worthy, 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 worthy. Pray us, with God. Pray us, with God. Pray us, with God. Shout of praise. Please be seated in the presence of the Lord. Wake somebody up and let them know that God is at work today. Take some testimonies very soon. It's 12.30 a.m. In testimonies of applications. Good evening to the Commander Day Midnight Crew. I want to thank God for his faithfulness and for never giving up on me today. My school vacated and my mom came to pick me up. She helped me pack my things from the front of my hostel to the keke. That's commercial tricycle while i locked up my room when i came outside i entered into the keke the commercial tricycle immediately and then we headed to the gate on our way it sounded like something fell but when the keke man looked through his side mirror he didn't see anything we left and got a distance away from school only to discover that my laptop bag was missing we had to drop my luggage at the place we stopped and my mom said we should go back and we did. We checked everywhere we couldn't we could and couldn't find it. We reported the case and spent some time waiting to hear any news but to no avail, unfortunately. We had to leave at some point. On our way, I prayed that God would help the bag come back to me and as we got to the place we dropped my luggage, we were called and the bag was found and he asked us what was in the bag. As we started speaking, he asked if it is the bag that has dunamis inside. We screamed yes. Immediately my mom went to get the bag. Eventually I found out from her that they said they saw the bag right where we heard the sound. So that means if it fell and God preserved it right there. For over two hours no one took it. I returned the glory to God. It wasn't only my laptop that was in the bag. But my documents since my 100 level to this 300 level were all inside. As well as my logbook and other important things. It's only God's grace that got the bag to me. I thank God for his grace and miracles. And I thank God for the lives of everyone who, of us who remain steadfast in commanding the day prayers and in, the, in dynamics as a whole. God bless you all. Thank you, Jesus. Is it the bag that has dynamics in it? Yes. Sister Chinyere, congratulations. Hallelujah. Barrister Georgina Youth, Port Harcourt. Greeting to my commander, day midnight prayer family. I'm here to recover from God's visitation in three areas. On the 3rd of March, 2024, while working on my PhD thesis that needed to be submitted on or before 1 a.m. Nigerian time, I connected to the commander, day midnight prayer. It happened that whenever I submitted my work, they turned it in result. Pledge Jerusalem check kept showing 33%. Despite the fact that the research was my original work, I retrieved and paraphrased again and again before resubmitting, but the result was the same. I asked God to have mercy on me because time was of, of the essence. Then I decided to change the subtopics on the precedent form issued by my tutor before making my final submission. Immediately after, I submitted my paper. Dr. Paul Enencher prophesied that somebody in a struggle with a PhD thesis, you are in the middle of it, and, it's, and it is like change the topic. God is giving you favor with your supervisor. There's a turnaround. I knew God had visited me as I said, Amen. Truly, I found favor with my tutor. 
the result was an A grade. Secondly, on the 11th of March, 2024, Dr. Pastor Paul and Nature prophesied that because of God's possibility, someone whose results were already marked and awarded a failed score, they were going to revisit the exam and give you distinction. That was my word. In January, I submitted an assignment which was marked and scored 12%. I was worried and I kept asking God what to do. But after the prophecy, without any complaint from me, my exam was remarked. <laughs> and the result was changed from 12% to, 20, to 74%, which is an A grade. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Thirdly, oh wow, this is incredible. Due to allergic reactions, I dare not bath with cold water, no matter how hot the weather was. But sometime in March, my case was mentioned that there is someone who does not bath with cold water, but God has healed you. Immediately I shouted, Amen. And my husband said, My wife, your case is mentioned. Next day I bathed with cold water, and the symptoms started showing up. But I told the symptoms that I refuse to acknowledge it in my life, that God has spoken and I'm free from allergies. The symptoms left. And since two week, weeks now, I have been bathing with cold water without any allergic reactions. To God alone be all the glory. Hallelujah. Which means, even when God has given you your word, the enemy will try to contend it. But you need to hold your ground. That was what she did. And the allergy disappeared. Let's hear the declarations. Somebody in a struggle, Somebody in a struggle with a thesis, a project, like a postgraduate, like a master's, a PhD thesis. You are in the middle and it's like, change the topic. Wow. Just change because this is not coming as, as a should. Oh Lord, where do I start from? How do I go with this? God is giving you intervention right now. In the name of Jesus, favor with you and your supervisor. Wow. And there is a turnaround. Somebody give the Lord a turnaround shout of hallelujah. Acts chapter 10 and in verse 27, wow. Mark 10, 27. Everybody read it together. Want to go? And Jesus, Jesus looking upon them says, With men, it is, it is impossible, but not, but not with God. God. For, with For with God, God all things. Are all things. Somebody say loud, amen. amen. This word is right for someone now. That impossibility and difficulty you are in right now, the Lord is saying it is possible. Amen. All right, there is something very, very difficult that seems impossible. Now it has been made possible. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Tell me, say, Father. Father. Now this, this is the kind of impossibility I'm talking about. Where you have written an exam or something like that and they have already awarded you marks. Alright? And then they revisit the situation again and give you a distinction mark. Wow. From what they had already called, said you failed. Wow. That's the kind of impossibility I'm talking about. Are you and just sitting and looking? Illustration. Somebody. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. When last did you hear a thing like this, brother? When last did you hear a thing like this? A thing like this? An impost. They, are, they gave you 12%. And then the prophetic word came. They remarked your script and gave you 74%. When last did you hear of a thing like this? Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout. This is the kind of God I like to serve. Wow. Take your seat. This is shocking. There was a third one. There was a third declaration. I think that was about the allergy. Before I started commenting, there was a third declaration. All right, that, I'm sure that was the allergy about not being able to bath with the cold water. All right, testimony from Sister Mary from Kaduna. Above only, greetings to the entire commanded Amini prayer crew. Indeed, light has come to Kaduna State. After the brutal declaration by the senior pastor on Friday at the Kaduna Healing and Deliverance Crusade, on that same Friday night, bandits tried to kidnap people in a community called Danhono around 10 p.m. The local vigilantes and security resisted them with the help of God. Killed one and the rest ran. They came back around 3 a.m. On Saturday, and we are resisted. Another one was killed, making two killed, and the rest ran, and no one was kidnapped. They went to Kudenda, and we are resisted too. No one was kidnapped. Oh, 
Glory to God. More grace to the senior pastor and God's handmaiden. I decree that their resistance shall continue and they shall begin to be delete, continue to be deleted from the land of the living until they are completely eliminated. Both them and those who send them shall be arrested and released from the land of the living. Shall the Lord say, Amen. Mighty God. Oh, my gosh. Sister Christy, Abuja, praise God. I want to appreciate God for sending my word of deliverance through his servant, Dr. Paul and Rachel, during the command of the day. Midnight prayer on the 18th of slash 19th of March, 2024. I lost my husband four months ago. We went to the village for his burial and his family threatened me physically. And I came back with all sorts of affliction. I started having dreams of death, seeing myself even eating with dead relatives. Always dreaming of the symmetry. I even dreamt of seeing myself with a traveling bag and about to enter a bus filled with dead people that I know. But my late husband sitting in the bus prevented me from entering. My BP was permanently above 169, 100. I was always afraid to sleep because of nightmares. My son dreamt of seeing obituary posters bearing my picture more than five times. Brethren, on the 18th of March, that down into 19th of March, Pastor mentioned my case, that someone is within the age 45, 46 years. You are not the next to die. He rebuked the spirit of death. Bam! I jacked up and shouted, Amen! My 46th birthday was on that 19th of March. 46th birthday was that 19th of March. I felt goose pimples all over me and I was shivering with tears rolling down my cheeks. I knew my deliverance has come. I slept after the prayers and I had an encounter with pastor who repeated the same declaration, the same declaration upon me. He brought out oil and anointed me and I fell under the anointing in the dream encounter. I woke up all and all pains, headaches gone. BP crashed drastically and I stopped taking the drugs. Even this morning, my BP was 11785. Dreams of death and obituary stop forever. I am free. God bless you for this great program. God bless the commanding the day. Midnight prayer crew. What a mighty God. Look at the declaration. Look at the declaration. In the name of Jesus. I speak to somebody in the age of 45, between 45 and 46. The spell of premature death is trying to tackle you. The devil is showing you a picture of death. And there has been a terrible plague of death in your family. Premature, untimely death. You will not be the next to go. And I speak to everyone who is, who is, who is, you can smell death around you. You can perceive the aura of death. And the devil is saying you are the next to go. I declare that aura is broken. In the name of God. We are done. That is too much. Stand on your feet and let's celebrate the King of Kings. Celebrate, celebrate. Father in heaven.
your hands and give the Lord the praise. Give him the honor, give him the adoration, give him the worship. Father, we praise you. Father, we honor you. Father, we adore you. Be glorified, Lord. Can we go before God and appreciate him for this very, very drastic 12% to 74%. Very, very drastic, frightening order of testimonies. Lift your voice, appreciate him, and then proceed into supplication. The Lord has heard and answered. Would you lift up your hands and worship Him? It's a chop house everywhere. This is what my heart cries for. This is what my heart cries for. May I do this? 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 
You waited on the Lord today and you trusted Him. Today, struggle, labor, exertion, sweating, unnecessary, expires forever. Everywhere they have detained your life, detained your destiny, detained your favor, detained your glory. Detend your testimony. I declare that season of detention is over forever. I prophesy your release now. And you had it before, but the devil took it from you. I declare restoration. 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 In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you because of just me. I declare your season of stress, of sweat, of resultless labor is over. I declare your step into rest, that spider web network that the enemy has used to frustrate your life. It is over. I speak to the destiny of Jekutiel. You will not repeat the failures of your lineage. You will not repeat the struggles of your father. Let a parent talented and with great potentials, but also with great limitation. Everywhere, everyone in this category, I declare the limitation is over. The struggle is over. I arrest the agenda of monitoring spirits. Monetary spirits. Someone mentioned about how a particular bird follows her. Even if she left here to America, she will still see that bird there. Whatever be the monetary spirit, whether it is spiritual or physical around your life, a bird, a reptile, Another one was a cat the other day. Another one was a lizard. Another one was a wall gecko. Whatever it is that is around your life that the devil has positioned to monitor you. Today, they are set on fire in the name of Jesus. And every covenant between you and them is broken by the blood of Jesus. It's a right-sided headache that is being cleared out of somebody's head right now. One of the people involved is called a blessing. Right side of the head is come back to hell forever. In the name of Jesus, there is an appendicitis that somebody is healed of. And lower abdominal pain on the right hand side. Receive your healing. Look, receive your healing right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is pulling off. A demonic padlock that was used to tie down the destiny of a people a rusty padlock is going to show up within the, this week I command wherever they locked up your destiny it is exhumed and uprooted in the name of Jesus and your freedom is confirmed I'm hearing some strange names Janice J-A-N-I-C-E that plate that the devil put in your hand that is a plate of begging a plate of borrow a plate of indebtedness i set it on fire in the name of jesus you won't run from pillar to post and pillar to post and trying to pursue this and pursue that and nothing goes through i declare your freedom right now everyone in this category every plate of begging the devil has put in your hand i declare it set on fire you won't run from pillar to post looking for direction and looking for breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. That crocodile devil that swallowed up your riches, that serpent that swallowed up your resources, 
tonight I stand again by the prophetic and apostolic mantle. I command what they swallowed up is being permitted right now in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout power. And somebody you will see in the dream of the night. We are what the serpent, the crocodile took their vomiting it out. And within a matter of days, you will see physical manifestation of massive resources. I am seeing one vomiting diverse currencies, gold coins, out of his mouth. Today, whatever belongs to you, wherever they took it to, is released now. In the name of Jesus. I see somebody's missing cloth. What you just saw now, you pulled it down, you return back, you can't find it. Someone else washed it outside, it disappeared. Wherever, whatever diabolic diabolism, anywhere they took your cloth to, they took your shoe to. That's right, somebody's one shoe is missing, one, one footwear is missing. Wherever they took it to, wherever they took the piece of your head to, whatever they did with it, it shall not walk in the name of Jesus. And I declare restoration. There shall be restoration. There shall be physical restoration of what was missing. And the consequences of what they tried to do with it shall not hold. I see an unclean spirit like a pig that is after somebody's destiny. How can a pig be struggling something with you? My shuttle, a wicked demonic night encounter. I decree, decree that pig is set on fire in the name of Jesus. It's your time, thou shalt arise and favor Zion for the time to favor her. Yet the set time has come. Somebody is answering, Lord, where will my time be? Where will my time be? The Lord said, Today is your time, and He's talking to Antonia, a particular Antonia. Today is your time as well. Today is also your birthday. I declare today, in the name of Jesus, your time of freedom, your time of liberty, liberation is here. Somebody shout, It's my time. Can you give the Lord a turnaround shout of, that, of hallelujah? Thou shalt arise and favor Zion. For the time to favor her, yet the set time has come. Somebody's been delivered from low spend count. Father, deliver me from this affliction. I'm married for seven years. No child because of low spend count. Tonight the yoke is broken. And if you should go to the laboratory, they will confirm that your system is normal. And within days, God will give you the physical sign. Shout the loudest, Amen. Somebody's loan. You're about to sell your property. You are under pressure. High blood pressure. Your life is under tension. You couldn't pay. And they are about to sell something very, very important. Sell property. I decree divine intervention. In a matter of days, all of a sudden, a divine turnaround that will frustrate that agenda in the name of Jesus. I see a left knee condition being healed. I listen. I don't know whether you have something to do with that property. And the left knee condition. God said that your voice shall be heard. The devil had, had tried to mute your voice. And to mute your relevance. And to, uh, and to, and to make you a shadow of yourself. And to impose on you. The spirit of inferiority and low self-esteem because of challenges around your life. But that yoke is broken right now. In the name of Jesus. You have been in a season of dry season. Lord, when will the rain fall? Life is dry. I, saw, I see somebody in the barrack somewhere crying out to God. I, life is so dry. Lord, I'm doing my best. Now your rain is falling. I see sawdust. It looks like someone is walking with wood. I don't know whether you are using saw actually or you are whatever. I see the dust of wood where you are and I decree today your rain is falling. Your rain is falling. Your rain is falling. I see conjuring. 
It is your season for the rainfall. I see the speed of the overtaker coming upon you to pursue, to recover and over, to pursue, overtake and recover all. And I prophesy to everyone, everyone, the devil has set you back, set you back. The speed of the overtaker is coming on you. Hey! Somebody bearing the name, at times it's, it's, you wonder how the name is. That is directly like God. You understand? Yes, like that. Like a witch, like Chuku. It's a kind of, of, of name. But the very, very altars of your life, of your father's house, has fought you to a standstill. Made your life a reproach, a caricature. How terrible it is, is that other siblings have succeeded. What did I do different? Why is my own case different? Why is my life different? I announce today in the name that is above every name, the embargo. Oh, and the devil is trying to push you into drunkenness and wayward, wayward life, drunkenness. Because of, of, of pressure, because of sorrow, I declare today, that yoke is broken in the name of Jesus and for everyone under the sound of this voice today Jehovah will order your step where you are needed there you will be found at least in somebody those who hate your blessing they better die now because the order of blessings that God is about to manifest in your life. You were looking for one thing, God gave you two. You were looking for two, he gave you four. You were looking for four, he gave you ten. I am speaking to somebody here before this week is out. Something you pursued that you already forgot. They will call for you and say, come and take it. It is done, it has been approved. It has been confirmed. It has been concluded. Shout the loudest. Amen. Tomorrow night, we shall be having a communion service. Physically in the church and also at the command of the day, midnight prayer. It is balm in Gilead. It will be healing. It will be deliverance. And it will be breakthrough. Any, any day, you see, healings and miracles happen during the command of the demon prayer. But when we mention it particularly, it's healing, deliverance, breakthrough. It explodes, it escalates. Invite your friends and involve your loved ones and bring communion points of contact. Anywhere you are watching and you are in need of surrender to Jesus, place your hand on your chest. Dr. Mr. Nature, come and lead someone here to Christ. Place your hand on your chest and receive the prayer. Pray this and mean it. You have made the sacrifice of being awake at this time of the day, whatever your time zone is. Let Jesus be established as the Lord of your life. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. I know. I have sinned against you. I am sorry. I acknowledge that I have erred. And today, I ask that you forgive me all my sins. Come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. And I refuse every addiction. And everything that draws me back to the world, I am now free in Jesus' name. Amen. So shall it be. The Lord lay his hands upon you and cause his face to shine on you. Stretch your two hands in front of you. I prophesy upon your hands and I declare the heaven shall look for you. From the north, the south, the east, and the west in Jesus' name. The Lord convinces me that there are so many people that have many testimonies they are sitting on that they haven't shared. If you don't share the one you are sitting on, 
especially with accuracy or prophetic declaration. You don't expect another one. God is keeping the records. So ensure that you rush in your testimonies, even from tonight, even from previous. If you think you had a drastic testimony that you sent and it was not sh shared, resend it. That's, that's right. Resend it. Yes, I had this drastic thing happen to me. I sent it because we have thousands of testimonies. We struggle to catch up with them. And so, uh, I sent this drastic testimony. I, I, it looks like it wasn't shared. And I think everybody needs to hear this. Somebody sent me a testimony the other sometime. He said, I sent this testimony. But I, it looks like it was not shared. And it was a drastic testimony of a little baby born. That was almost dying in an incubator or something. I, I forwarded it to you that time. And we shared that testimony. It was mind-blowing. So ensure that you forward it back to us. And the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. London, England program is, is, is on. Testimony details are on the screen. The, 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 the Wembley Arena program is, 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 is filling up. Somebody sent me a message that uh, it looks like the seats are all booked out. And, right, right, so we, we, we are, we, the, our people are working with the venue to open up more seats. As soon as it, just keep checking. As soon as it opens up, you just go ahead and book for yourself and book for your friends. Also, the, 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 the UK church is working on because we are, we are hearing that there are some people who don't even know how to book for the city. So our officers uh, with their details will be on the screen uh, as, the day, as the days go on so that you can contact our people who will assist you to, to make the booking for the tickets in case you don't know how to go about it. The Lord bless you and keep your and cause his face to shine upon you in Jesus' name. Dr. Ron Kinoli is already in Nigeria and he will be here with the worship and the wonders night. It, Good Friday, worship one and wonders night. The title is It is Finished. And we shall be having a most explosive time in the presence of the Lord. It is commanding the day minute prayers also drawing from the power of Calvary. Just be here in person for that commanding the day of Friday. And God bless you in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine on you, and be gracious unto you in Jesus' precious name. 2024. And above only, again 2024, and above only, God bless you. Again, if you have a testimony we have not heard, send it. If you sent it and it wasn't shared, and you think it's something we need to hear, send it back to us. God bless you. Let's go in celebrations. God bless you.